of you at home wonder, Luke, how do you do it? All this traveling with three small children, that must be exhausting. And I laugh and say, it's so exhausting. I'm so tired. Oh, I'm a big ball of humidic sweat. I just, oh. But we're having fun anyways, yeah. right? You just roll with it somehow. Just roll with it. But at any rate, we got the we got everything packed. We started off with so much room in the back of this car. We were so proud of ourselves. It is absolutely to the gills. If we get in a car right, it'll take the jaws of life to pry us free from our luggage. Oh. But we're gonna go to Baton Rouge, Louisiana. A first for me and I think a first for you. First too. for me, we're gonna go see our friends. All right, to Louisiana, everybody. Welcome to Louisiana. Yay, we're in Louisiana now. We had no plans to do that until about three hours ago. Yay. <laughs> Invisible in the darkness. Right here. <laughs> Are those your cowboy boots? I no. saw your dad got you some. Oh my goodness, look at that place, Ed. That's crazy. Daddy wants to check the water out. Well, our friends live on this long and skinny lake, and we do not have a clue what lives in this lake. Uh, they told me it's stocked, but they don't fish, so they don't know what it's stocked with. I presume it's got bass in here. But I am very curious to see what's in this lake and see if we can catch something. Because if we could, that would be way cool. Ooh, it is hot right now. Oh, it feels like it's in the 90s. We might get ourselves situated and unpacked. Once it cools down a little bit, then see about going fishing. All right, guys, so we're here with the Levitts and they say they have an awesome place to eat here in Baton Rouge. What's the name of this place? Sammy's Restaurant. Sammy's? Okay, we're gonna go check out Sammy's. You guys ready? Yeah. Let's do this thing. All right, we got seven kids and four adults. We are going to destroy this place. Okay, Lee, what's good here, man? What's good? Crawfish. The crawfish are good? Are you having fun, buddy? Oh, look at that. We got fried green tomatoes. And alligator. And alligator bites. And fried pickles there. This is going to be good. Oh, there you go. We got some alligator. Mm. Oh, good. Fried green tomatoes. I got fried pork chops with beans and rice and cornbread, and oh. it looks delicious and huge. Crawfish etouffee, look at that, that looks delicious. Well guys, we have tore it up here, man. This is just excellent food. And Becca's got some dessert here. It's a blueberry white chocolate deep fried bread pudding. <laughs> that's, that's pretty amazing. <laughs> guys, uh, we got ourselves not one, not two, but many doggy bags. This is the definition of eyes bigger than your stomach. And my stomach is very big today. Well, you guys get a good night for us and be really good boys so we can go and have adventures tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. It's a gorgeous morning and it is not too hot quite yet, but man, it's getting there quickly. It's about seven in the morning and it uh, feels like it's already in the 70s maybe low 80s it's going to get up close to 100 today i'm sure but uh, i'm going to really quick throw uh some rods out and see if we can't catch something out of this little lake behind the house try that out see what happens good morning nathan do you want to catch a fish i want to catch a big one reloading let's see what we got Oh. oh, yeah, look at this. Catfish? That's a bullhead. Okay, hold it, kind of squeeze it a little bit. Congratulations, Acadia. Is that your first uh, catfish? Yeah. All right, nice little bullhead. There we go. Hey, Abigail, come here. Got one. Yeah. Are you real at it? Oh, look at that. Whoa. That's a, that's a nicer fish. I think that's the biggest one we've seen so far. Keep your rod up in the air. Just put your rod tip up in the air like that. What do you got here? Let's see. Oh, look at that. 
It's a nice bass. Look at that. That's a nice guy. Big fish. Yeah, that is. Well, Juju, congratulations. That is a respectable bass. That feels like he's uh, two pounds, maybe three. Look, yeah. good job. Shall we put him back? Yeah. All right, Juju, let's go, lady. Let's, hold, let's put him back. Yeah. Why don't you throw him back? That, that put him in gently Ooh. or whatever. <laughs> uh, there we go. Hold on. Well, go ahead and reel that sucker in. Oh, oh my God, a yellow fish. It's a bluegill. Yeah, bluegill. Look at that. Is this fun? You're enjoying this? Yeah. Yeah. This is a fun place. You guys can catch a lot of fish back here. Yeah. <laughs> well, guys, we had an absolute ball. The girls had a great time. Uh, I think that was the first fish for a lot of them, but we're out of bait, so that's it. But uh, they were telling me that they didn't have any fishing gear. And uh, so I'm going to do a little something. I'm going to go to run to Walmart and I'm going to go get them some uh, cheap little rod and reel combos and get them all set up to fish this spot so they can come down here and fish in their backyard whenever they want to. Whoa, look at that. But that's Grave Digger. Yeah, that's Grave Digger, yeah. If you're going to buy a little setup for kids and you want to do a really nice one, the Zebco Doc Demon Deluxe is hard to beat for the price. All right, we can't forget a pink tackle box too. That's gonna be good. Well, I'm excited to show them this uh, fishing gear. I think they're gonna like it. Yeah, here's your fishing rods. Check these out. Show you, I gotta show you how to use it. Instead of uh, electronic bite alarms, we're gonna go old school. We got a fork stick. All right, there we go. And throw it. Okay, there you go. You reel it in, you're gonna put it on your little rod holder like that. Okay, but a big fit, if a fish comes along, it'll grab it and pull it into the water. So take this other stick, put it right there, and shove it down the ground. If a fish grabs it, can't take it away. Got it? Okay, you come and you catch anything, you start hollering, we'll come out and help you get it off the hook. <laughs> a big sweaty man giving you a hug. I'm gonna miss you, baby. We are going to have a truly Cajun Bayou experience. We are going to spend all night hunting frogs, crawfish, catfish, the whole thing. We are going to be out in the bayou all night long doing what we were meant to do. Well, Tommy, we made it. Here we go. Yeah. Mr. Kevin. Mr. Tommy, yes sir. Come on, get up there. Good, Tom? All right. Thanks. Guys, we're here at the Cajun Experience Base Camp and this is blowing my mind. I kind of signed up for this without really knowing what I was getting into, but I came out here and this is an amazing base camp. We got three of these houseboats kind of tied together here. And check this out, folks. Look at this. Got a great dining area here, kitchen, getting preparing up all your food, got fishing rods, all sorts of stuff. Check this out. Got a nice guest cabin here. Oh, icy cold air conditioning. It's like 95 degrees outside right now. We got nice bathroom and shower. It's kitchen and dining area here. And uh, look at this. Got a bunch of bunk beds. Brand new. Me and Tommy are the first people to stay in it. And look at this. This is amazing, folks. I, if I had known it was gonna be this nice, I would have brought Becca and Jacob and all of them. Well, guys, here in a few minutes, we're gonna go off and get some crawfish, and I haven't caught and eaten my own crawfish in years, and I am so jazzed to do this. Okay, bud.
Oh yeah, that's that's the money right there. Look at that. You're, you're a lot braver than you were a few minutes ago. I just got two of these. Pulling that one up all by yourself, buddy? Well, Tommy, are you having a ball catching these crawdads? Yeah. Tommy was not so jazzed on touching these at first, but he has really come around. I think, look at that, Tom. Excited to eat these? Yeah. Hey Tom, you want to try this out? It tastes like chicken nuggets. That's an alligator. You like it? Is it tasty? Yep. Oh! <laughs> my, my son, who is five years old and only likes three things in the whole world, just finished off like a whole basket of alligator. <laughs> Holy mackerel, we're gonna have to make some alligator at home if this is if we, this is what it takes to get him to eat dinner. That's yours. Oh my goodness. Ho ho ho. Guys, check this out. I don't think you get better food, man. These fresh crawdads caught them minutes ago. Look it out over the bayou. This is really nice. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well guys, we just finished an awesome dinner and we got a few hours before sunset. We're gonna throw out a couple uh, jug lines here for catfish, see what happens. Tommy's a natural at throwing jug lines here. He's, he's showing up his old man here. Ready, buddy? This is jug line and we got a pool noodle here. Got a little three-way knot. Got, it looks like uh, about a six-aught hook here and uh, some paracord. At the end of the paracord, we got a bit of an anchor. He must be asleep. He forgot to take sides. Buddy, wanna go take a nap? All right, man, let's go get you a nap. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> That's my very first alligator gar. Ain't setting any records, but man, that was cool. He jumped clean out of the water. That is a wicked set of chompers. Look at that. Oh, he's got a heart-shaped tongue too. That is freaky. You're lucky I'm a merciful and benevolent fisherman here. Hey, Tommy, buddy. Tommy, you ready to go frog hunting? All right, guys, it's midnight on the opening day of frog hunting season, and we are excited. We are excited. I've been wanting to do this for a long time, and uh, Tommy's pretty jazzed, too. So right now, we're cruising around, checking our jug lines, and these headlamps are amazing. We can see into the bayou, and uh, we're looking for, for the little eyes of the frogs. We're gonna try to drive up on them and grab them with our hands. You can also see alligator eyes and all sorts of creepy crawlies. It's, this is really cool being out here at night. Oh, yeah, there's something kind of green shining right there. Is that spider? spider? Those oh, are yeah. spider eyes. Oh, that's a bullfrog. Oh, oh look at that. He's, he's spicy, oh, Tommy. Grab get him, get grab get him. Get oh, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah, that's a spicy oh, one. Like red eye. I have. There you Why go. Do I see him? Oh, I see him. I see him. Kneel down, Tom. Kneel down. Oh, I got him. In the boat. You got him? Got him. Okay. That is awesome, Tom. This is the biggest one I never caught. Put it. Put him in that hole. There you go, buddy. You got him. Good job. Good job. Guys, I just caught my first bullfrog. I am so stoked. I got I got my bullfrog skunk off. All right, guys, this is on like Donkey Kong. There is so much awesome stuff out here that I just can't get on film because of the darkness and I mean 
we're seeing thousands of spider eyes in the grass. Spider eyes. It's crazy. And we alligators everywhere. And uh, we're just having a ball. Oh, yeah. Oh, he looks healthy. Oh, yeah. He looks healthy, son. I'm going to try him. You want to try him? Go get him, Tom. He's all yours. Apparently, I'm only good to get him in the boat. <laughs> all right, yeah, you got him? There you go. Put him in the hole. Good job. Tommy, high fives. You're doing great, buddy. Okay, guys. You got him, buddy? Yes. Okay, you take him to the cage. Gotta, gotta stay hydrated. This is hardcore frogging. Frog slap! Frog slap! Frog slap! Oh, frog, 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 frog. <laughs> and get him! Unstop frog slap! Daddy, can we get a lot of frogs so we can save some for mommy? Oh, absolutely! Yeah, look at that—a big old alligator. Daddy, you alligator! Don't eat my GoPro! Don't eat my GoPro! That's a you got a good song. Good Is this pretty cool that you get to spend a Thursday night catching frogs with your dad in the bayou? Yeah. <laughs> I think so too, though. Did you have an awesome time? Yeah. Come on, then. There we go, bud. Look at that pile of frogs. That is awesome. We had an awesome time catching these frogs. Didn't you even have a ball catching these, buddy? Yeah. Oh, now you're gonna get warped. Oh, look at these. Look at the size of these suckers. Check that beast out, man. I'm gonna let this one go. Those are the ones, the ones that are still in there. We're gonna eat those ones. Yes. Yeah. Here we go. Whoa! Now, Tommy, we told you we're gonna eat them, buddy. Oh, look at that. That is soft. That's a soft meat. We're gonna clean frog, we're gonna eat fish too. Oh -ho. And ready to go. There you go. Oh man, that looks good. Look at that. That is a pile of food right there. Alright guys, here's my very very first frog leg here. I know it's a cliche, but it does taste like chicken, doesn't it? <laughs> it's more tender than chicken, that's for sure. I think, I think even my wife's gonna like that. <laughs> Thank you very much. It has been an amazing night and I am exhausted. It's about 2.30 in the morning and I've got a belly full of fried frog, fried catfish and uh, crawfish and Tommy's totally zonked out. So I'm gonna get some sleep and I will see you guys in the morning. Well guys, I got a little shut-eye last night, woke up nice and refreshed, and this is my view outside the bunkhouse. <laughs> I can't emphasize enough, guys, how awesome of an experience this was and how family-friendly this is. The boat ride's amazing, the scenery's amazing, the bunkhouse is comfortable and nice and air-conditioned. Uh, you know, if you're not into frog hunting, if you don't even want to touch a frog, you can come out here and have a ball and eat delicious food and just wake up to this. So if you wanna try this out, guys, look up Cajun Experience. This company is amazing and you gotta go with these guys before they figure out they're grossly undercharging you. Uh, this is very, very affordable. I'll put links in the description to their Facebook page, their websites, the whole thing. So check it out, guys. Man, these guys know how to treat a fellow. Got breakfast here, got bacon and eggs and rolls. Not a bad way to end the lovely trip. Show me your gator. Oh! <laughs> Perfect. Hey, dog, but it's an alligator. Yep. Yeah. Yeah? Yay! 
I got a feeling we're gonna be hearing that for the next 18 hours of driving. <laughs> so Tommy, that was awesome. I, I've, that was probably the most fun I've ever had on a fishing trip. You have a good time, buddy? So you ready to go see Mommy and Nathan and Jacob? Yep. All right, we made it here. Woo! Watching. Yeah. <laughs> Jacob, I missed you. Look at you. I miss you. Well, guys, I am exhausted, but there is no rest for the wicked. And we are going to go out to an alligator park. And I'm going to try to remain upright. Go! Let it go! Let it go! Don't oh, never bother me anyway! Nailed it. Nailed it. Nicole, I think it's important that you know that I schooled the crap out of your daughters in Disney sing-along trivia. Oh no. <laughs> so we're here at Cajun Village in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Apparently they have beignets, alligators, and souvenirs. A trifecta of things that we are all interested in today. This is a beignet right here. It's a deep fried pastry with lots of sugar on it. Very traditional down here in Louisiana. Oh, look at that big guy. Well, the alligators were way cool. Now we're gonna go check out the souvenir shop. Go. All right, Becca, you want to try these frog legs? Okay. The, the key is just to imagine what it looked like when it was alive and then bite in. All right, guys, I got a young lady here who really wants to do some fishing. So, but with our last night here, we're going to get her a fish on her fishing gear. Yeah, sure. Just wash your hands really good afterwards. Just like, real, real like, gentle. Kind of like rub it in the head, maybe. Yeah. There you go, little guy. Coming to look at a fish. All right, come on here, pull him up, pull him up. Baby catfish. Now, is it? Is there blood on there? Yeah. yeah. Whoa! Yeah, there's definitely something on there. I think that's the same fish. Oh. Jennifer. I'm helping. <sighs> up in the air. I never got a turn. Whoa! Whoa. That's whoa. Whoa. It's the bigger one. Oh, look at him. All right, there we go. Nice little bullhead. Okay, there we go. So fishing at night is a lot better than fishing in the middle of the day, isn't it? Yes. So you think you can do this on your own? Catch fish on your own? Yeah. I bet you can too. Well, we had a great time cooking up frog legs, catching fish out in the backyard, but it is late. I'm exhausted. The kids are already past their bedtime, which was a massive strategic error on my part. But we shall uh, get a good night's rest and then tomorrow we're heading to Virginia. Hey guys, we're here at Frank's and uh, we're gonna grab some breakfast. This place looks pretty hopping, so uh, I have some pretty high expectations, but uh, let's load up on some food. All right guys, got breakfast here. My boy Peyton, man, is helping me out. <laughs> got too much food. We got uh, blueberry stuffed uh, French toast. We've got sweet potato pancakes, normal pancakes. Got some biscuits and gravy and grits and eggs, man. We're ready to roll. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Are you sad to leave? Is that why you're fussy? I bet it is. We are sad to leave, but it is time to go. Oh my goodness. 16 hours, 15 minutes, babe. You ready to do this? Let's do this. All right. If you'd like to see more great Outdoor Boys videos, including all the videos from this southern road trip, check out the link in the description and don't forget to click subscribe. We put out new videos every week and join us every Saturday morning for a new adventure from the Outdoor Boys. Thanks for watching.
Nailed it. Yeah.